This is the way. What's up? It's the Iron Mandalorian and Ellie. Today we are at Hollywood Studios, and apparently this may be our only day at Hollywood Studios, which I'm not too happy about. But we are going to stay till closing, I believe, and then go to Magic Kingdom for extra magic hours, extra magic hours which I'm really excited about. The magic Kingdom is open till one o'clock in the morning tonight for extra magic hours, which is really awesome. But that is not the most exciting thing that we are doing today. Ellie, guess who's at Hollywood Studios now? Yeah. The Mandalorian. He is now at at Hollywood Studios for the release of season three of the Mandalorian series. But I'm really, really hoping we bump into him while we're at Galaxy's Edge. So let me get this straight. The first thing you wanted to do today, it wasn't Tower of Terror. It wasn't uh, talking to characters. Well, we did talk to the characters. We saw the Incredibles, but it wasn't like seeing characters you wanted to see. You wanted to go to Starbucks. Yeah, I need a coffee. You need a coffee. Of course you do. Why am I, I not surprised? One in two days. You haven't had one in two days. No, and I have. Is that had... why it's been so peaceful? What are you most excited to do today? Tower of Terror. I should have known. I'm excited and about I'm that too. I'm gonna get my weighted oh. Eeyore. Eeyore. Oh, You're getting weighted fair. Eeyore. So <laughs> you forgot Eeyore's name. In other news, uh, besides getting Starbucks, and I am getting something in Starbucks because I'm still a little hungry, but besides getting Starbucks, I am finally getting my lightsaber today. I'm getting Cal Kestis' lightsaber from the video game Jedi Fallen Order, and it is about time I get this thing because I've uh, passed it up like two different trips now. All right, well, I had to know this time was going to come eventually. We are now going on our first ride at Hollywood Studios, and it is, you guessed it, the Hollywood Tower of Terror. <sighs> time to get thrown around up and down, I guess. I'm kidding. I actually do really like that ride. It is fun. Another fun fact about Hollywood Studios in the year of 2023, Rock and Roller Coaster is currently closed for refurbishment, I guess, of all the times. Seriously, why couldn't it have been closed when we were not here? I love going on that ride. Well, the wait time read 35 minutes, and I guess we're moving pretty, pretty well, but we are still getting stopped right back here, not inside. Ellie. Are you excited we're finally going on Tower of Terror? You know you're gonna have to slurp down that drink before we get inside, right? How is it? It's very good. You were saying something to me specific about that drink with this place. What was it? Because this Starbucks makes it the best drinks. It makes it, the Starbucks here makes that drink the best? They make all their drinks the best. Ah. One lock this door with a key of legend. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of imagination, in the Tower of Terror. Here we go. No. No. Here we go. <laughs> Are we going up or down? Up. Ah! Oh my gosh. I'm screaming so loud. I'm so sorry. Oh. oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. We got lucky. Okay, so I love that ride very much. Uh, I came off my seat a lot. Here's the thing though, it's a very slow day in Hollywood Studios today, so we're going again. How long of a wait is it right now? 13 minutes. 13 minutes, oh man, that means yeah, there's no wait at all. Oh my gosh, all the crowds in this line queue just disappeared. What the heck? They all got taken by the Tower of Terror. They're in the Twilight Zone now. I have to say though, I love it in here. This would be such a cool hotel if they made a Tower of Terror hotel for Disney property. Cover down. Down! Oh! Oh man, we went down! Oh my! Are you happy now? We went on Tower of Terror twice in a row. What are we doing now? I don't know. I don't know either. I want to get my lightsaber. I'm buying a necklace and a weighted Eeyore tonight. Oh, I have bought my Marvel action figure. I found him. I have gotten this bag. And I got a Ron John surf shop t-shirt. Wonderful. So I'm getting a weighted stuffed animal because they are wonderful for anxiety and stress. She's not getting the stitch um, munchling. I'm kind of disappointed. And I'm getting a really pretty necklace that has a diamond Mickey and the second star to the right on it. 
Wonderful, Ellie. Okay, we've decided what we're doing. We're getting lunch. We are eating at Pizza Rizzo's. I really wish they wouldn't have changed this. I, w I miss Pizza Planet. Ellie, yes. how's the food? What would you rank the pizza as? A 10? All right, how's the salad? Good. Okay, I'm gonna try the pizza now. Let's give my ranking on it. <laughs> Same as Ellie, that is a 10. No doubt about it, that is a 10 out of 10 pizza. And I have my Starbucks still too. I'm gonna try that too. That's good. Ham and cheese croissant from Starbucks. Fantastic. Ellie, what do we have for dessert? A pizza cookie with strawberry jam on it. Okay, I really don't know how I'm gonna like this or not because, well, I mean, first of all, it's got a little Mickey on it. But this is white chocolate and strawberry jam on a sugar cookie, so I really don't know what I'm gonna think of it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Because I know this song. That's really interesting. I really don't know what I think of that. It's actually good. Um, the initial taste, there's a there's a very faint berry flavor, though. Wow. Yeah, I actually like that. How was lunch? Good. It was good? What are we doing now? Um, up at Vision 3D. Up at Vision 3D, and then we're going to Galaxy's Edge. Stylish, as always. You look so cool. <laughs> That was fun. I love going to Muppet Vision 3D, but now we are in my favorite spot of Hollywood Studios. One of the main reasons Hollywood Studios is my favorite park in all of Disney World. We are in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and I do believe, oh yeah, we are. We are going on Rise of the Resistance, and it is currently 3.21 in the afternoon, which is really amazing. That means it is definitely a slow day here at Hollywood Studios. It's mainly because Flower and Garden Festival is going at Epcot right now, so everybody's crowding in there. If we went to Epcot right now, I'm sure we could barely move around because there would be so many people. There is nobody in the outside part of the waiting queue right now. This is amazing. Okay, well the line does stop a little in there, but it looks like we're moving pretty well. This is like the perfect day. It is super nice out. It is like the perfect mix of hot and cool. And it is a really slow day at my favorite park in Disney World. This is probably my favorite day of the trip. And I still have to get my lightsaber. This is amazing. 
This is a historic moment. My sister is creating her first YouTube channel, a private channel, but a channel nonetheless. I'm so proud of you. I have inspired her. What are you gonna call it? Just your name? Maybe you'll come up with something more creative later. I can't believe I just got Ellie to, up to make a YouTube channel. This is a great day, a historic day nonetheless. Incoming transmission from right. That is so cool. Yes, they do. So that is amazing. Good. Should you be a toy Recruits, thank you for joining the cause. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. It's time! Here we go. <laughs> How they do that is so amazing. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Pakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. We're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? We got a company! First time to sight fighters! Reroute! Reroute! Red 2, Blue 5, we got to get a pair of transport to make a jump! Look at this! Star destroyers! Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Resistance sympathizers, this ship is now under the command of the First Order. You will disembark and proceed down the corridor to your right for your interrogation. Now go. It's literally my most favorite room in this ride. It's so cool, all those stormtroopers. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So, Ellie, you have a way to get us out of this, right? No. Then we are doomed. Distance base. Yes, where is it? It's right there. I will have to look into that one. It's a little Tell them! Just told me. Yeah. I bet you lose. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. It's all right, but with the resistance, we're here to rescue you. Everybody got me, let's go! Right, we got the good one. Yay, we got the one with the extra stuff. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the door's not present. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. Fun fact, those were actually built first, and then the attraction was built around it. Now's a good time. Here we go. This is my favorite part right here. Wait, why are you going up? I said down, up is bad. Up is real bad. Oh man, that's so cool. For those of you who do not know, the ad at is my favorite part in Star Wars. Wow. So cool. These guys have escaped. How crazy. But ultimately, how crazy. There's nowhere to run. Oh, this room is so cool. That's cool. That is so cool. The animatronic wasn't working though. I can't believe it. There we go, Tower of Terror again. Here we go. Woohoo! You guys really only play any clothes, don't you? Uh oh. Okay, you're clear! Oh my gosh. This is like a full-on simulator. You can actually feel it moving and dropping. Oh man. Your escape pods came in a little off target. Sorry, worker. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. Oh man, that ride is so right. much fun. I saw recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, your resistance now. I think I have that authority. And that is why that ride is my most favorite ride in all of Disney World. That is my literal top favorite ride in the entire park, not just Hollywood Studios, all the parks. Now we are going to go get my lightsaber. However, 
as we are walking through the park, I am really, really, really hoping we see the Mandalorian walking around. I saw a report saying that he got released today in honor of the season three premiere of the series. And well, so far I have not seen the Mandalorian and that is sad to me, but I'm going to get my lightsaber and that makes me very happy. Oh my gosh, I love it in here so much. There's a Mandalorian helmet right up there. Huh. Doc Ondar is working again, that's so cool. That is so cool. I got the lightsaber. I will show it off later. Still no news on if the Mandalorian is going to be out here or not while I'm here. However, we do now know that he roams in the marketplace, which is where we're going now. So maybe we'll see him. I have no idea, but it would be nice. It's time to see the lightsaber. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Look at that. Oh, I love the hilt down here. That texture feel of it, that is awesome. Oh my gosh. Wow, this really is the largest lightsaber that they sell. Oh man, it's got some good weight to it too. Holy cow, that's heavy. There's the full length of it with the wires sticking out at the bottom and everything. That is so cool. Now let's get the blade in it. Okay, the blade is in. This is gonna be kind of hard to see since it's the bright out, but I'll do what I can. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Listen to the sound. Holy cow, that's awesome. Okay, good news. I think the Mandalorian's coming out for one more time today. I really hope that's true because I really want to see him. Is he coming out? No, that's security guards. He's coming soon. <laughs> oh man, this is driving me crazy. Oh my gosh, he's over here, he's over here. Oh, I see him. He's right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's right there. He's right there. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, he's coming this way. Oh my gosh, he's right here. Lando. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he's right there. He's so cool. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Look at Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at Gogo. This is the greatest day of my trip. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. We saw the Mandalorian. Are you excited? Yeah. That was so cool. I actually got to see, uh, meet my favorite Star Wars character. That was amazing. So that was so, so cool. I am very, very happy now. My day is officially complete. Literally, that was the greatest moment of my trip. Besides getting my lightsaber, that I can't believe I met the Mandalorian on the first day of his arrival at Galaxy's Edge. That was so, so freaking awesome. The Mandalorian is my favorite Star Wars character. It used to be Kylo Ren, and Kylo Ren is still right up there with him. But oh my gosh, that was that was definitely an experience. I am so happy and I got pictures with him and it was just, that was really amazing. Now we are in Toy Story Land, we're heading over to Toy Story Mania. We may get close to getting all the rides today, but we may not get all of them because we want to make it over to Magic Kingdom for extra magic hours. So we're about to go on Toy Story Mania. I am not going to film the actual game because I want to beat my sister and I want to do well. So we'll see you afterwards. Okay, what did I get? Come on. Two hundred forty one thousand nine hundred. I broke two hundred for the first time. Ernie, two thousand four hundred. Ellie, nice job. I got best score in the vehicle. Oh my gosh. That's me. Wow. This is a major milestone for me. Oh my gosh. I beat everybody on Toy Story Mania. You came close to, you were probably like third place out of all of us, but I got best in the vehicle, which was really, really cool. I've never gotten that before. That's my, today was my first time. Uh, now we are going to, I believe, Woody's Lunchbox. All right, we're at Woody's Lunchbox and we have the brisket sandwich with tomato basil soup so we're gonna try this right now let's try this two from through the cities listed above on the corresponding dates may rebook in the original class of service or travel mm. standby within 14 days of their original that is very good the grilled cheese here is still my favorite though we also have tachos 
So we're gonna try these two. Mm. So you check Milwaukee? Yeah. Those are very good. I love the food at Woody's Lunchbox. It's fantastic. It is getting darker out, so lightsabers uh, turning on now. Uh, we are now back in Galaxy's Edge after a very, very good dinner uh, to go on Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Honestly, Rise of the Resistance is still my favorite ride in Galaxy's Edge, but Millennium Falcon, I actually kind of like it. I know some people don't really like that. It's just a little simulation, but I actually think it's kind of cool, especially if you're the if you're the pilot. You know, Gunner's pretty cool. I've never actually done the engineer spot before. Um, but honestly, I just think it's, uh, I think it is actually a really fun ride. There it is in all its glory. Oh, it's so cool. I love seeing this when we come here. The Millennium Falcon that they have here is really just an amazing experience to see. Now, the wait time did say 20 minutes. Honestly, I'd say it's more of like a 30, 35 because the line does stop all the way in here. We are still stuck in line. This is ridiculous. Where's... <gasps> no! Hondo's not working! Oh no! This is a new one. Okay, I don't think we've ever been in here when Hondo literally is not up there. Oh no, there he is. For those who don't know me, I am Hondo Onaka, and welcome to my completely legitimate shipping company, Onaka Transport Solutions. I am sorry I could not be there to welcome you in person, but the work of a smuggler and a businessman is never done. I have many, many ships, and I have far too much cargo. I've never seen this version before. Traveling on the fastest ships in the quadrant. Like that one, the Millennium Falcon. Chewbacca! Of course you will be compensated for the generous load of your ship, and the resistance will get the supplies they needed. Maybe a little something for me. It is time to go, my friends. Listen carefully to your mission briefing, and try to work together now. Your lives and profit depends on This area is so cool. That especially. Automatic repair. Here we go. Let's do this. I love this ride. Right, pilot. Push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left. Move your fly right and left. Oh, it's nighttime. That's really cool. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly up and push forward to fly down. Now let's go get that glass. Right, pilot. Make the jump to light speed. That's so cool. That is definitely my favorite part right there. Yes. Oh man. Yes, keep shooting. It's so nerve wracking. It's hard to keep it in the center. Okay. It's much worse. Wow. No, even if I hit the brakes, it always does this. Excellent, my friends. All right, power up the ship. We can got this, got, got this, got this, got this. Gunners, fire the harpoon. Gunners, shoot the train. Hey, I'm actually staying center. Keep shooting. Yeah! We actually got the bonus one. Oh my god. Yes, yes. We got the collection. I will grab it. Oh, 22%. You retrieve two containers of coaxia. This could greatly help the resistance. Not bad, not bad. You have heard the first order and made Chewy proud. Wait a minute, that's so cool. The stormtroopers are actually out here. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're right there. Oh my gosh. I think they see me. What's happening? Nothing. Just sightseeing. Oh, it's a replica. Do you like it? Not by our own control. There is resistance activity here. Have you seen Oh, these. Oh, I they change colors and sometimes they're red, so I wore them in honor of the first order. Good. 
That was the right answer. <laughs> it's the only answer. I can't promise I would have answered the same way. Why is it blurry? Oh my gosh. For the order. They like my shoes. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. We have eyes on you. <laughs> so, Ellie decided, so I have a tradition where every time I get a new lightsaber in Galaxy's Edge, I always have to take a picture in front of the Millennium Falcon. Well, Ellie has a new set of camera lenses that make her pictures look actually really, really cool. So we did like an entire photo shoot of me with the, my new lightsaber in front of the Millennium Falcon. And it was really cool. And then the whole thing with the stormtroopers was hilarious, right? Yeah, so like, so two things. One, when I was taking pictures, I was like down on the ground trying to get a specific angle picture. And the stormtrooper came up to me and like knelt down and was like, nice. And then the, the other one, he came up to me when I was doing the pose and I was doing like the Obi-Wan Kenobi pose. And he came up to me and he goes, that's very nice. I would advise only using that pose for training. Second thing. Okay, my second thing is, what I found out tonight is the camera lenses don't work with night mode on my phone. Oh! So I can't use the camera lenses for taking, like, night pictures. Oh, that's so, unfortunate. Uh, this thing, oh my gosh, it's so bright, first of all. Super heavy, but is just absolutely amazing, and I'm so happy I finally got it. However, now we are exiting Galaxy's Edge, but we are not done with our Star Wars time at Hollywood Studios. We are now going to Star Tours, and honestly, I'm kind of surprised they haven't closed the ride down where it is and then remodeled it and put it in Galaxy's Edge because I feel like that would be a lot better. Although, I will say this, the, the one of the endings is landing in Galaxy's Edge after Star Tours, so I guess that kind of makes sense. You know, you land in Galaxy's Edge and then you go there, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But we're gonna go on Mickey and Minnie. Yep, we're gonna go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and, and then, then we're gonna come back to Star Wars or Toy Story Land, um, and we're gonna go on Slinky Dog Dash. Awesome. And then after that, we're gonna we're going to Magic Kingdom we're for extra magic, magic hours. Magic hours. One o'clock in the morning. And this is gonna be a late night. Potentially get to go on Tron. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Are we gonna? We might actually get to go on Tron. Our friend who is a cast member, she recently got her cast member preview for Tron, and there's a very good possibility that we may be able to ride Tron early this trip, which would be so, so amazing. That would really complete my trip. Of course. Oh my gosh, five minutes. Five minutes. There's no wait time for Star Tours. <gasps> the ad -ats. I honestly love this ride. The Ewok Village. Oh, the ad -ats just started shooting. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, there's literally nobody in here. Holy cow! C3PO and R2D2! So awesome. I think C3PO and R2D2 might be broken, they're not talking. Hey, here we go! We're going in, we're going in! Let's go! Wait! Wait! R2D2, I am not programmed to fly these things. Not just turn us around this instant. We gotta get. Before we get to we got Darth Vader. No, we got Kylo Ren. Yes! I knew it. Stop right there, Yay! don't you? I know you have a spy on board. I'm a spy. This made a terrible mistake. They're a spy and a traitor <laughs> to the first hole. I've never seen that human before. Okay. A little spy. Come and be a fool. You are no match for the power of the dark side. Oh, oh man. Oh, so I could get hurt. Oh, man. Oh, 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 man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, We just lost the Oh, yes. We got exit. Not exit. Oh, look out. Oh, to fix those engines immediately. You know I can't swim. What in? Go away, beastly thing! Go away! Oh, oh to save us! Ah, so many! Oh, oh. Our friends in the resistance need your help. Even you! Head to the coordinates I'm sending you. We must face them and fight them. Now go! 
for flying star tours bye bye ah uh, tatooine traders i honestly love this store i will never get tired of it this is actually where they sell most of the pre-packaged lightsabers uh that is anakin obi-wan dark saber and darth vader and mace windu and maybe one day i'll get the mace windu lightsaber i'm not sure oh it's over there right now right over there so i'm just gonna say this right now the, this backpack that I have, the one with, uh, that I can upload all these uh, clips and videos to, it is so awesome and really such a crowd pleaser. Literally a crowd pleaser because every day that I have been at the Disney parks with this bag on, I have gotten multiple cast members and just regular people in the park stopping me and asking me about the backpack, where I got it, what are the clips I have on it. Some people have even recorded it. It is so awesome, and in Tatooine Traders there, when on the way out, two employees came up to me and wanted to watch the bag. I was explaining the whole thing to them, and then I literally stopped the entire store because when I was talking to them about the bag, other people and cast members saw me with the bag and talking about it, and they all stopped to watch it. It is just so funny. And the Mandalorian series that I have uploaded to the bag right now, it's literally a chronological order of almost every single episode and some episodes of Book of Boba Fett, the ones with the Mandalorian in them. And just really, it, that is like watching the whole series on my backpack. So it's really, it is a crowd pleaser. Well, now we are inside Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and we are about to go on the ride. And honestly, I love this ride so much. Nothing can stop us now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it happen. Want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you later. Do you like helping these good people in the cartoon while it fix this here Loki motive? Sure, I guess I can do that. Thanks. Be back in a jiffy. I'll pick you all up. Toy Story Land at night. Oh, I love it here at night. It is so nice. There goes Slinky Dog. We're gonna go on that actually right now. Boo! There he goes. It is currently 10 after 9 at night. We got in line at like 8.50 for Slinky Dog Dash. We are just now getting on the ride. My feet 
are killing me, and I don't know if we're gonna get aliens rolling saucers. Ellie, we're finally on the ride. Are your feet hurting? Yeah. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it's so much faster. Whoa! It's because we're in the middle. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay, so the middle is the place to be for this. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Woo! Oh man. Oh man. Up and down. Oh, Tower of Terror. I can see it. Up and down. Oh my gosh. Ah! Queasy. Oh, you've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Look at the moon. Oh my gosh. All right, so that was really fun, but now we're actually going on Aliens Rolling Saucers. We're going to get all the rides. I can't believe we're actually gonna do the all rides challenge of Hollywood Studios. I guess it makes it a little easier that Rock and Roller Coaster is closed because technically we can't count that one as a ride right now because it is closed. But technically, yes, we did do the all rides challenge and I am so happy about that. I honestly really like this ride, but after seeing the videos from Tokyo Disneyland, this version of the ride that's there is actually Baymax. And people in the waiting queue actually really dance to the music, so that would be really fun if they did that here. Looks like we're getting the trend started already. There's one without a trailer. That's been here for I don't know how long. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what's the name of our alien? Phineas. Phineas? Phineas the alien. We are literally the only people on the ride. This is hilarious. Here we go. Oh boy. This is gonna whip us around. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Phineas, slow down. No, speed up. I mean, speed up. So, that was really fun. Uh, I'm glad we did the All Rides Challenge. I cannot believe we actually completed it. But now, we're trying to book it through Galaxy's Edge because we're trying to get to Rise of the Resistance one more time as an extra ride on that before the night is over. We made it. Oh, that fan feels amazing. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I can't believe we did the All Rides Challenge in Hollywood Studios and got an extra ride on Rise of the Resistance. We also got an extra ride on Tower of Terror at the beginning of the day. But the night is not over because after this, we're going to Magic Kingdom for extra magic hours until one in the morning. Here we go again. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon suck out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. Oh my gosh, we're in the front this time. Yay! Hey, get out of the ride! Hey, the doors are the first there! If you cannot tell, I'm quite exhausted because this has been a very full day. We did the All Rides Challenge at Hollywood Studios. We'll have to try again uh, when Rock and Roller Coaster is open again. Maybe we'll get it when Rock and Roller Coaster is open. I have no idea. The night is not over. We are now going to go through the shops at the start of Hollywood Studios. And then we are going to be staying up until 1 a.m. in the morning at Magic Kingdom. That is just ridiculous, but we haven't had extra magic hours in forever, so honestly, I'm just really happy that we get to do this. You know what? I will see you guys when we get to Magic Kingdom. Okay, a momentous occasion, a historic occasion, in fact. Ellie is about to do her very first YouTube video. 
Okay. Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh. This is my very first Hello. Episode. It's the Iron Mandalorian. We're going to Magic Kingdom. We're vlogging each other vlogging. Crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. Okay. We're going to the TTC. This is awesome. We've made it to Magic Kingdom, and oh my gosh, this is really sad. They are still playing Splash Mountain music at the front of the security check. Look at all these people leaving because they don't have magic hours. Wow, that's actually really crazy. That is a great view right there. Holy cow. You know what? You're welcome, you guys. If you want to, pause the screen right now and screenshot this. It is an amazing, amazing view with the balloons there. My sister's vlogging. We are now going to go to Jungle Cruise and then probably over to Peter Pan, then the Little Mermaid, and then we're going to finish off with Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which is actually, in my opinion, a really good way to end the night. <gasps> Am I gonna get spit on by the camel? Spray me! Come on! Oh, come on! That camel hates me. There is actually no wait time right now. Well, that explains it. We got up there and the employee came out and told us that they are actually not open for extra magic hours. But yeah, that's really disappointing because I'm not gonna get Jungle Cruise possibly this trip. Well, exchange one water ride for another. We are going on Pirates of the Caribbean again. It is only 10 minutes. We're literally going to walk on the Pirates. Now, I said that and I don't want to jinx myself, so. Knock, 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 knock on wood. Knock, 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 knock on wood. Hey, here we go, down the drop. Oh, we're gonna get so wet. Oh! 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 I didn't get wet! This is really nice. I lost audio for this ride in the last video, so I'll actually be able to catch this for you guys. Why do I kind of want to be splashed? Oh! Your wish is my command! I just got splashed. Jim Carlos, don't be cheeky! <laughs> Disney trivia fact for you guys here. What color is the dress in the portrait on that lady? It's blue. If my cats ever got their little cruel paws on rum, they would be unbearable to deal with. They wouldn't be dead, they'd be unbearable. This is the best room right here. Help me, Artis, yo ho. I don't know all the words, but please don't copyright me. Fun fact, on the bottom of that pirate's foot right there, that is actual dirt and mud on his foot. Help me, Artis, yo ho. Jack Sparrow, he got his treasure in the end. Look at Splash Mountain, all the construction is lit up. This is so peaceful. The shooting gallery, there's nobody, there's hardly anybody here. I gotta see if it's open. Let's see if I can get that tombstone on the back. I did! I got that owl. I got that tombstone. Oh my gosh. I'm such a good shot. What is that? What? Oh my gosh, what is what that? What the? And it's just roaming here? What the heck? Wow. Okay, that was really surprising. I've never seen that here before. 13 minutes. That means there's no wait. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. What the frick? That's, okay, that, that just gave me a legitimate jump scare. That legitimately scared me. He was just standing there. Holy cow. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. How will we get out? which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. My magic band is glowing red. The spooks are messing with me. This is your kind of library? Yes, it is. Oi, what is wrong with you? It's filled with horror books. It's filled with horror books. Yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever. But there's room for a thousand. Any volunteers? Grim Grim goes about to socialize. Restless bones materialize, rises to sun every size. <laughs> Look at the attacking ghosts! 
So this is what they look like when the ride isn't really running on full power. They just do a pre a preloaded one. We are now in the waiting queue for Peter Pan's flight, and honestly, I love the waiting queue for this area. It's it's really so cool. Like these portraits, come on, they're awesome. Whee! All right, we got our pixie dust, and we are ready to go. Where's the shadow? Pixie dust. And hey! On. And there's Wendy. This is literally my favorite part of the ride where you can see London down below. I love how they do this. This is just one part that I will never get tired of. There's Big Ben. I love this part so much. And you can see tiny little cars moving around down there. It's so funny. The Mermaids. Fun fact, that one in the middle is actually Ariel. I actually really love this part because of the fact that you get to fly through the ship. They're battling. Oh! We've been stopped. But we won. There's all the pirates down there. They're not dead. Wow! We really got moving there. Oh, we're moving again. Here we go. We're going back home. Not, we're not in Neverland anymore. I'm sorry, Captain Hook. Goodbye, Captain. Well, we just got off Peter Pan, and now we are near the sword in the stone, so guess what I have to do? I'm going to try and pull it again. I really don't know if it's going to happen or not. I hope it does, because today's been a really good day, and I could really complete it. But I have no clue if it's going to happen or not. It's been a really good day. Can I pull the sword today? This would be really, really great. Mm -mm. Nope. Can Ellie do it? No, she cannot. Can my mom do it? Nope. I want to try once more. I'm just going to try again. Nope. I just had to try. I just had to see. Unfortunately, still no luck with the sword. I'm really, really really upset about that. Today's been a really great day, but to pull the sword out of the stone, it would have just made the day great. Even better than great. It would have made it almost perfect. Who was Walt's original drawing? Prince Oswald. Yep. Oh my gosh. So that was kind of hard to see through, uh, through the camera. Also, the lighting wasn't very good, but uh, that cast member was showing us that in the middle of the ground there, there is a hidden Oswald the Lucky Rabbit uh, in the ground, which is really cool. I mean, that's uh, Walt's original drawing of a character. That was even before Mickey Mouse. Uh, usually we're used to seeing hidden Mickeys around the park, but that was the first time ever seeing a hidden Oswald. We are now headed to the Little Mermaid. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the eighth wonder of the world. The backside of water. The backside of water. Oh man, we're not gonna get to go through the waiting queue with the crabs and Scuttle. Well, I guess we get to see Scuttle anyway. That's nice. What that awesome. Oh, she's so neat. That is so, so cool. I love that so much. This whole ride is awesome. Oh, where's Sebastian? Let's see if I can see him. Hey, there he is. Down here, all the fish is happy. One day when the boss get hungry, it's gonna be on the bridge. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh, there's Ariel dancing. Okay, there is one part of Ursula's interaction here that I have got to see. Oh, it's going, it's going! Oh my gosh! Yay, we finally got to see it. But this, you've come to a stop. Hmm. Maybe it's that sea witch. Hmm. Listen to me. Stay seated in your clam shell while I get to the bottom of this. You don't know why, but you're dying to try. You wanna kiss the girl. 
Sing with me now. He ain't gonna kiss me, girl. Okay, besides the under the sea room, this room is awesome. And the only room with King Triton in it, which is kind of weird. But honestly, I love this room. A fun fact at the Storybook Circus, you can now meet Daisy and Donald in Pete's circus tent again, which is really cool. I mean, I haven't met them there yet, but maybe someday that'll be pretty fun. Well, we're over here, and it's extra magic truck hours, and it's five minutes, so we're gonna go on Winnie the Pooh. It's hot here. If you ask me, he'll never reach that. Hello! And everyone gathered together to say, Hooray! It actually worked this time. Okay, we are off Winnie the Pooh and officially going on Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Let's see if we can get Snow White. Is she up there? Come on! Come on! Yay! There she is! No way! Hey! Look at that! Hey, man! Oh! We're already moving really fast! Holy cow! Rock the car! Diamonds and That ride is really absolutely super duper crazy. Honestly, there are no other words to describe it. Uh, if you sit in the back of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, be prepared. You will be tossed around a lot because like the cars, they rock back and forth and there are a lot of twists and turns on that, on that coaster. We have like, I don't know. Yeah, we got like 14 minutes left uh, in the park for magic hours. So we are doing only one more ride and it was the choice between Buzz Lightyear or Space Mountain. We are going to Space Mountain, and that'll be fun. However, as you all know, I cannot record on Space Mountain anymore, which really, really sucks. There is Tron in all its glory. It's beautiful, wonderful, fantastic glory. We unfortunately will not be getting a preview of Tron this trip. We have made it off of Space Mountain, and I really wish I could still record that ride, but I can't. Ellie, do you have a good time? Yeah. Ellie's doing her video to her outro. Today has been super, super fun. Uh, we got two parks in. Uh, we got every single ride at Hollywood Studios, including an extra ride on Tower of Terror and Rise of the Resistance. We did not get Rock, rock and Roller Coaster because it is closed, unfortunately. And extra magic hours at Magic Kingdom was really, really nice. And it is still super, super empty here. Like, there's only a few groups of people in Tomorrowland right now, uh, us included. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you like, comment, check out some of my other videos. Stay tuned for the rest of my Disney vacation videos because they will be coming soon. Ellie, have anything to say at the end of my vlog? You started a YouTube channel. Um, I started a YouTube channel. Manners, are, these are the words of wisdom. Manners are important. Don't be rude. Learn how to speak English. And If you don't speak English and stick with your family and don't cut people in lines. Those are the words of wisdom for the, at the Disney parks. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, the force is with you on this blessed day. And I will see you real soon. We will see you real soon. End credit scene last evening at Magic Kingdom. So last time seeing the lights on the castle. That looks amazing, and I love the 50th emblem, and I will be sad to see it go away at the end of March.